Hi, this is Jay Prakash. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Big Data Hands-On Training. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'll be uploading all my uh, training videos into this uh, YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to import MySQL uh, RDBMS tables into Hadoop HDFS using scoop in sequence file format so what is sequence file format there are various file formats which hdfs can support so a sequence file format is uh, nothing but binary file format so if you want very good compression you are you can use a sequence file format so we have seen uh, uh, the text file format where it is being imported as text file the next one we have seen avro file format where uh, it is where your scoop imports and stores it in a json file format that is for efficient compressing where i can show you how uh, the compression is being done yep this is where we are not able to see in our previous video so rows and column so this is our orders av row so the part one if you could see this is a key value pair so order id value so this is the rows and column structure in the uh, in the text file format is being displayed in key value format order ID this is the key and this is the value so this is the JSON file format and uh, let's go back one step behind let me show you what is the um, orders is in text file format approximately each file is 724 or 735 uh, KBs so let's see how is the file structure i mean uh, file size it is 428 kb so the file size is considerably reduced for the same input file by storing it in key value pairs it means json file format so if you want much better compression data is stored in data can be stored in uh, um, as sequence file format which is nothing but the binary output file so let's see how to do it so wasting much time log on to um the console so the same table let me the same syntax nothing is changed i'm going to change the output uh, file name sequence is what i'm going to save the only other thing i'm going to change is have um, as sequence file That's it, nothing apart from that. These are all the only two changes I'm going to make and uh, hitting enter. By default, it will ask for the, uh, it will prompt for the password. Cloudera is the password. And uh, Hadoop uh, executes a MapReady job to import the data. And let's see how the sequence file looks, output. Let us give some time for the map reduce job gets executed. Split is four. Number of split is four. By default, uh, it is taken as four splits. So, total number of records are six triple eight three. So, minimum value. This is the bounding values query. Let me take some time to explain this bounding values query. What it does. By default, if you don't specify any bounding values query, the first value, the minimum value of the key is order ID is the key in this table. So, it takes a key um one is the minimum value and four is the maximum i mean the, the six triple eight three is the maximum value so it computes the mean um and based on this minimum value and maximum value it splits the files so accordingly you know six triple eight three divided by four so approximately some fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand records goes into each each output file and the record gets processed so this is okay we we don't need to specify any kind of uh, specific bounding values query if the data is linear i mean if the value in the uh, in the uh, i mean the primary key if it is linear there is no issues but what if it is not linear if it is um, the value is keep on um, increasing in an exponential way there may be possibilities like your MapReduce job I mean uh, your Hadoop framework will not be able to equally split the total number of records and 
first plate will be having less number of uh, records and uh, the other file may be containing unusually very large number of records than the first one so um, if you which you don't want right you want the data to be split in a equal um, equal file length I mean uh, uh, file size so that's what you want so you can control your bounding values query by uh, giving the minimum value and maximum value I can cover the syntax for that later in some other video so we have seen the um, this particular job as completed let's move on and see how the value is order sequence by default unusually it is of more size because the file size is already it is pretty uh, you know very small so if you have hadoop is a framework designed to handle very large files you know gbs of data or tbs of data so if you give an input of uh, you know kbs or 1 mb or 2 mb this is how it's going to behave so this is something pretty unusual but next time if you have, um, have some time i'll try to use a very big file to execute in the single node cluster and uh, try to split and this must be very very lesser than your text file but in this in this scenario it is pretty much more let's see how the data looks it will be in binary format so it's in binary format it gets stored so this is it for this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel share like put lot of comments and uh, please share it to your friends and uh, thank you so much we can see uh, some other tutorial in my next video thank you